I've already prepped my face and put on foundation. Because Taylor's face looks more lighter in the middle, I'm going to put some lighter foundation on these parts of my face and blend it in with a beauty blender. To brighten up my face, I use concealer on these parts of my face and blend it out. I look like a ghost. Time for bronzer. Here I'm using Colourpop's Royal Drive Bronzer and Wheel Techniques Sculpting Brush. I also use this bronzer to contour my face. Then I go in with some blush with Real Techniques Blush Brush and iHeart's Rosy Blush and pack it on my cheeks. To intensify my blush like Taylor's, I put some bronzer on my cheeks. Then with the same bronzer, I contour my nose with the Real Techniques Concealer Brush. Fill in my brows and draw my arch a little higher to try to recreate Taylor's brows. Then I brush out my brows. To make my eyebrows look thinner, I put some concealer under the arch and around the brows. Then I set my whole face with some translucent powder. Time for the eyes! I put this grey shadow in the crease with Real Techniques Blending Brush. And blend the color all out. Then with Real Techniques Medium Shadow Brush, I pack this black color on the outer corner. Then I blend it out with a blending brush. Then I pack this light grey shadow on my eyelids. And blend it with the darker shadows. To intensify the grey color, I put some more with a small shadow brush. Then I go in with this brownish shadow above the crease of my eyes. Then I put iHeart's highlight on the inner corner of my eyes with a thin brush. Then with a Real Techniques shadow brush, I smudge out the black shadow under my eyelids. Then I tight line my eyes with a black pencil. Then I curl my lashes and put some mascara on the upper and lower lashes. And we're done with the eyes. Now the lips. I start off with overlining my lower lip with a light brown pencil, like this. Then I overline my upper lip, like this. Then I put Colourpop's Prim Satin Lip on my lips. Then I 
use some concealer to sharpen the edges. Then I use some bronzer and highlight to define the part above my lip, like this. Then I blend it out with my finger. I also put some highlight on my cupid's bow. And dab some highlight on my underlip. And lastly I put some highlight on my nose bridge and also under my eyes. For the hair, I section the front part of my hair and comb it out. Then I fold it on my head till I get the preferred length. To keep it in place, I use these clips. Then spray some water on your hair and scrunch your hair like this. And we're done! The old cat can't come to the phone right now. And that was the video guys. I hope you like this look. I really love it. Maybe I'm going to do this for Halloween. I improvise. I don't have a wig so that's why I put my hair like this. Um, I'm really excited for reputation. Give this video a thumbs up if you're also excited for reputation. And let me know in the comments below what are you going to wear for Halloween. If you want to see more of these tear looks, because there are a lot of more tear looks in the Look What You Made Me Do video, let me know in the comments below. I would love to recreate them. I hope you like this. I know I'm not a professional, but I really like the outcome. I hope you guys liked it too. And don't forget to click that bell button if you want to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Kathy. Please subscribe. It will mean a lot. I'm almost at 600 and I'm really happy about that. And I'll see you next week. Bye!